carry on the free third, and bid men to keep the peace. Light I carry for enclosing, and bid ill white flee away. Thoon or oh, hello, thoon or oh, hello, thoon or oh, hello, it's all is dead. Fire I carry round the free third, and bid men to keep the peace. Light I carry for enclosing, and bid outlaws flee away. Thoon or oh, hello, thoon or oh, hello, thoon or oh, hello, this all is dead. Thoon or oh, hello, thoon or oh, hello, thoon or oh, hello, this all is dead. Hi, this is Dancing Rabbit, and welcome to another Weekend Pagan Perspective. And yes, I do have more than one green shirt, but I'm recording all of September's uh, videos the same afternoon. Uh, it's a nice day, really cool here in Houston, cloudy and windy, so I hope that the camera is able to filter out some of the wind. Okay, this week's question... Let me drag up a little closer. This week's question... Uh, I just uploaded a video directed at people new to paganism, and now I'm wondering how you two would address them. Considering the broad spectrum, all that is, implies, entails, and even all that it is made out to be by those who misunderstand and misrepresent it, I'm asking for your thoughts on this in the spirit of general advice and suggestions I had suggested that newcomers should gather many perspectives about it and thought, what better accommodation than a good perspective? Okay, I did look at your video, or at least part of it, and you've got a lot of good information, a lot of good suggestions. It seemed to me that you were reading it. So, what I'd really like to see is if you would remake the video and just talk, just be kind of impromptu, and even if you make mistakes, it's okay, and or you could edit them out, and then maybe upload your script to a blog like, say, Witchbox, because I think it would be a really interesting read. Okay, again, I, I apologize for the wind noise and hope it isn't too crazy. Um, suggestions for new pagans. Well, do a lot of reading. Don't believe everything you read, even if it's in my book. Um, see if you can... Uh, actually meet any like real-life, flesh-and-blood, in-person, face-to-face pagans. Here in Houston we have about three or four pagan night out type meetings. These are basically eating meetings. They're, they're not really all that serious, they're just social. A uh, monthly meeting down at a local restaurant and uh, you get to talk and visit with other people who just happen to be pagan. Feather and I are also both active in the Council for the Magical Arts, which is a Texas regional pagan organization, puts on two big festivals a year, so that's also a chance to meet hundreds of other pagans, and some of them you'll like, and some of them will, you know, annoy you to death. Uh, I don't know that there's anything like that near you. I mean, Houston is a humongous city, and we've got all sorts of everything, and a fairly large pagan community but you can get online and search for it. Uh, I don't really recommend joining a teaching coven, and the, my reason for that is I've had a couple of bad experiences with teaching covens. Not that they were teaching something wrong or harmful, but the folks in charge were just a little bit egotistical and felt like they had cornered the market on paganism. But, you know, maybe you can find a good uh, teaching coven or study circle or something and, uh, you know, get to, to know some pagans face to face. But don't be in a big rush to learn everything or to go out and teach everything. Enjoy it. Paganism is about doing. It's not so much about believing this or that. Uh, get out in nature, whatever that might be for wherever you live. Okay, second question. Um, I need help being a pure pagan. I've been raised in a Christian family, and I'm only 12, and I want to be pagan, but was never taught how. Can you help me? Okay, your first part first. I need help being a pure pagan. I think that what you're doing there is bringing something, a, a sort of attitude over from Christianity. I mean, I grew up Christian in a, a Methodist uh, church, 
and veered off into fundamentalist Christianity as a teenager and Pentecostalism in university and eventually became an agnostic and then ended up being a pagan. What a, what a trip. So I kind of know where you might be right now or, or what you're, you're asking about. The thing is, in Christianity, um, you're looking at a, an ethical dualism. You have right and wrong, the children of light and the children of dark, God versus the devil, good versus evil. And paganism really doesn't see the universe like that. Uh, we see things as more shades of gray or kind of a yin-yang where the, the two kind of overlap and interweave. And yes, there are things that are harmful, hurtful, and there are things that are helpful. But uh, we don't see people or, or things as being good or evil. Okay? So don't worry so much about being pure or perfect. That's really not what paganism is about. Paganism is about being yourself and being in harmony with yourself and with the world and the people around you. So, you know, relax. You don't have to be pure. Um, as far as being in a Christian family and being only 12, I don't really know what your parents' attitude toward your paganism is. I did look at your YouTube site and, uh, you know, you didn't have really much about that sort of thing. Understand, you are a minor and will be so until 18, possibly even 21, if you, you know, have a lot of financial ties to your parents. So they can pretty much dictate your religion, if that's what they want to do and uh, tell you that, no, you can't uh, do all this pagan stuff. But understand that paganism is not so much about acquiring pagan tools and building an altar and, and all of this sort of stuff that you might have seen in books. Paganism is about being, being yourself, being who you are, and being in harmony with the world around you. And you can do that sort of thing without ever setting up an altar and casting a circle and doing magic you know, in the way that most people think of it or imagine it. Uh, although you are, I think, you are female, I would highly recommend my book, The Way of the Horned God, even though that's written for young men, I think that a, a young lady or uh, an adult even could uh, glean a lot from it about how to go about starting off and being pagan, particularly if you're not coming up in a pagan family. As far as uh, never taught how can you help me, uh, yeah, I hope I've helped you a little bit. You can uh, read lots in uh, books, but don't believe everything you read in the book. Uh, I repeatedly said in my book that just because I say it doesn't make it so. This is not the only way to do it, and it may not even be the best way to do it for you. But just basically relax. There's no rush to me, uh, you know, to know everything right now. Begin doing what you know. I would suggest learning a few simple grounding and centering exercises. If you're able to get a hold of books, uh, other than my book, I think that uh, Scott Cunningham's Wicca for the Solitary Practitioner is good, as is uh, Starhawk's Spiral Dance, even though it's uh, maybe written on a little higher reading level. But it may be something that you want to check into. So, hope that's helped out. Hope that's kind of answered some of your questions. So, till next week, Dancing Rabbit, wishing you all peace.